Grand rising, beautiful soul family. I'm Coach Susie, and welcome to the Beyond Abuse podcast, a show about the power and benefits of using self-love and hope to overcome self-doubt, depression, anxiety, and panic attacks resulting from the trauma and abuse of our past. And uh, today is day five on this 21-day meditation challenge or meditation experience, and The centering thought for today is today I embrace my potential to be, do, and have whatever I can dream. And today has been a rough day for me. Like I've just been crying a lot because it's just like, you know, I'm a supportive person. I've always been. And I just never have that support. I cheer on other people. And when it's my turn, (laughs) people try to break me down. (laughs) It's just like... (sighs) I give up. And I know that's probably what people want me to do. And they win. I mean, I'm, I'm going to still do my podcast. And I'm going to still do my TikTok videos. And, but you win. Because... I'll just continue to support people like this. I'll continue to support people in my, uh, in the Living in Empowered Life group. But um, I'm no longer giving my energy to social media. Not Instagram or Facebook. Um, I'll do TikTok. There's more, there's a lot of supportive people. I mean, of course you got, you got your trolls on there too, but there's a lot of supportive people on TikTok and I just, you know, and then this, the sad part is that like a lot of the times it's your own damn family, you know, and it's like you, you support these people and the way that they repay you or the way that they say thanks is by trying to hurt you or break you down. And, you know, like, when you share your story, other people want to do that, too. Like, this is the sad thing in in relationships. Like, I should be able to tell somebody what I've experienced in my life and and may not try to, to do the same thing. Right? I guess I kind of do, you know. Hurting people want to hurt you. You know. It's sad, but... It's just sad. It's a really sad thing. So, let's go ahead and do... Day five. Welcome to day five. There is a saying you are known by the company you keep. And through our environments, we tend to inherit the beliefs of those with whom we spend the most time. These philosophies then become part of our subconscious mind. Though research shows that we function largely with subconscious minds that have been programmed by others, 
As humans, we have the amazing ability to change past conditioning. We can achieve this by releasing negativity, interacting with like-minded conscious people, enjoying inspirational sights and sounds, and engaging in uplifting activities. In this way, we can develop new positive ways of living and begin to clear the subconscious of all that does not serve us. True transformation is brought about by the two qualities inherent in consciousness, attention or focus and intention a clear vision of a desired outcome. Attention energizes and intention transforms. What we place our attention on expands in our lives. And our intention for the object of our attention will orchestrate the forces of the universe to support our desired result. Harnessing this power of attention and intention, you can change your life to reflect exactly what you envision. Entering into the field of all possibilities during meditation allows us to bear witness to our co-creative powers and change any situation in our lives. For instance, if you want to move from where you currently live to be closer to the ocean, then you might envision a two-bedroom home one block from the water's edge with a vegetable garden and lawn for the dog. Being specific helps crystallize the vision. When you go into meditation, look at this intention and let it go. Surrender it to the field of all possibilities and allow the universe to correlate the details. You are a radiant, cherished and deeply loved being imbued with the seeds of divinity and possess the power to live a life filled with love joy, health, compassion, friends, material possessions, and whatever else you choose. Expect and accept this ultimate good and revel in the truth of your resplendent existence. Right now, as we prepare for meditation, let's take a moment to contemplate today's centering thought. Today, I embrace my potential to be, do, and have whatever I can dream. Today, I embrace my potential to be, do, and have whatever I can dream. So this is, I love the, I love the universe so much and spirit because, you know, it, it I know a lot of that is probably to um, a lot of my upbringing, you know, because I did have those people around me that were not supportive. Um, and and walking away from relationships that are not that are not supportive, you know, because just like he said, like I deserve to have I deserve to have relationships where the energy is reciprocated, you know, where I am supported and, you know, and I'm supporting other people. And um, and I know this paradise movement is is that, you know, um, is that is that 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 platform, you know, 
um, and and just making sure that I gravitate towards those those people, you know, not the ones that are are only out for selfish gain, you know, um, and you know that that I I can be, I can do, and I can have whatever I dream, you know, and, and, and my dreams are not lavish, you know, like I really just want to be able to, you know, not struggle with paying my, my bills, you know, I want to be current on my car note, you know, and I was just thinking today, like, you know, I, I do know how to manage money. I do. You know, there was one point on my journey where I had saved up $2,500, but, you know, I ended up buying my son a car. But again, that's what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the reason why I want money so that I can help other people. You know, like I, it felt good to me to be able to to purchase my son a car cash. You know, like that felt good to be that that me and, and Aaliyah's needs were taken care of. But because Marquise needed a car. I was able to give give that to him. You know, like the, the me wanting money is not for myself. Of course, yes. I want to be able to, you know, to, to take care of me and my daughter, but you know, it really is to help other people because that's that's my heart. That's who I am. That's who I've always been. You know, and I was just sitting up here today like, well, maybe I just better stop, you know, stop supporting people and you know, versus like, no, that's that's not you. That's not you. Don't don't let people who don't support you turn you into somebody else, you know. And I guess that has that's been my fight. I don't know. It's just like this world is not going to turn me ugly and and even and it, it it won't turn me ugly. I don't think so, but I will stop supporting people. I will start stop supporting certain people who feel like they are entitled to my support. Like you're, you're not entitled to my support. You know, it's freely given. And and the moment that you, you try to take advantage of that is, is the moment that you essentially fucked up, you know, because you're not entitled to anything. That's selfish energy, you know? So, um, and then I drew these cards came out, like the universe is so amazing. Um, and, so the activate your chakra card is ask, where do I see love around me today? Where do I see it around me today? And then the angel guidance card is release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you held tightly gripped within your hand. One, open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. So where do I see love around me today and the ability to release and surrender? Because I am no longer holding on to anything, anybody. You know, I know that I am divinely supported by the universe, by spirit guides, by ancestors. And yes, you know, you do want that, that tangible support, you know, from friends, from family, you know, but sometimes you won't get it. And it, it it's sad. It makes me, you know, sometimes I get sad. Um, and I know that too, a lot of this today is releasing. So it's releasing a lot of stuff that I've held on to people I've held on to and moving forward you know this this today I think today is a new moon it's new moon energy right the lion's gate it's new moon energy so it's releasing it's a new beginning it's moving forward not looking back just continuing to press forward and um and Serafina says I am the angel of families a happy change or addition is coming to your family so uh, let's let's read the deeper meaning for release and surrender.
the angels bring this card to you because you've been trying to fix this situation single-handedly they'd love to help you and answer your prayers but first you need to surrender and release the situation surrender simply means that you've tried you're tired of struggling it means emotionally letting go with faith that the divine wisdom of spirit, which includes your higher self, can do a better job. Surrender doesn't mean that you're giving up or that you want to be controlled. Through surrender, you'll be assured of a better outcome. If you need help with surrender, ask the angels to assist you. Don't worry about how your prayer will be answered. Let God figure out the details. Be willing to ask for help. Release tension and the need to control and things will go better. Avoid power struggles in your relationship. Simply own your power and you won't have to fight for it. So definitely um, surrendering a lot of things. You know, I've been speaking out to the universe and asking for assistance, um, you know, in my finances. Because that always seems to be a struggle for me, you know, and... You know, my whole philosophy is that as long as my bills are paid, then I want to go. You know why? Because with COVID, we've seen that tomorrow's not promised, you know, and I want to travel as much as I can. I don't want to sit in the house worried and saying, oh, well, I don't want to go. I don't want to go anywhere because I don't know if my if money's going to come in next month. I don't want to live my life like that. You, I want to be able to, to pay my bills and be able to go, you know? Is a savings knife? Yeah, it is. But I also don't want to hold on to money out of fear of not receiving it, you know? Oh, it's a struggle, it is. And Serafina says, your prayers about family have been heard and I have been sent to watch over you and answer your prayers. I am here to tell you about a beautiful change coming to your family. You are going through a period of adjustment right now to prepare for this change. It might feel chaotic or disorganized, but be assured that this is simply part of the nesting process. I will guide you through this time and help you with any upsets. That may occur. Any challenges will sim will stimulate for for forthright decision discussions. And this truth is very cleansing. It helps you to know your own feelings and priorities on a deeper level, and allow you to share with others in a deeply honest way. Then, when the purpose of the turmoil has been served, the storm will blow over, revealing. Blue skies for all. This happy change or addition to your family is divinely ordered. Surrender any worries to God and allow heaven to serve as your spiritual family who helps, guides, and watches over you. We love you very much. So, that card right there. Um, you know, that every time I do like this, this Deepak meditation, anything, um, it always brings clarity, healing. And so it has been some healing that I've been going through and releasing and letting go. And, you know, letting go is a tough thing, you know, because we're, we're so used to trying to control everything, right? So, and that's what it is, you know. Like earlier I said, I'm giving up. I always say I'm giving up. What it is is letting go. It's letting go, letting go of, you know, how it should have gone, how, you know, like, like I said before, sometimes the dreams don't look like what we, you know, what we envisioned, but that doesn't mean that the dream has not manifested, you know? So, um... Yeah, it's a lot of healing when these things come. So if you guys are <laughs> if you guys are going through, let me know because I totally understand. Um, 
And I guess that's kind of why I do it, you know, not only for myself, but to help other people through their healing process. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. It has been a rough day. It really emotionally, energetically, um, just really been releasing emotions and getting my feelings out and asking for assistance. You know, I even said like to the universe, like universe, I, I don't even feel like I'm supported in, supported by you right now. Like, oh, deep breath. That's all I can do. You know. Um, if y'all enjoyed the topic today, I invite you to subscribe to my monthly self-care newsletter. You know, I tell, I tell people all the time, like, just because I teach it doesn't mean that I don't go through too, you know, but I, I'm sharing with you guys how, how I get through, you know, and it is, it's giving up or releasing surrender. I call it giving up. Although that car said it's not giving up, it's just releasing and surrendering. And, and that's what I'm doing. I'm surrendering because it's just like, I'm tired of fighting, you know, I'm, I'm tired of fighting people. I'm tired of fighting this finance thing. Like I'm, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm tired. And it is what it is, you know? So, um, but the monthly self-care newsletter provides tips, tools, and resources on loving yourself deeper every day. Once you are subscribed, you will receive free access to the Living and Empowered Life Mental Health Support Community. The community consists of daily encouragement, weekly challenges, and weekly live Zoom meetings with Q&A every Friday at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You'll also receive a free copy of the book, the ebook from Victim to Victor, How to Live an Empowered Life Beyond Abuse. The ebook was created to move you from victim to victor and help you live an empowered life beyond the abuse and depression of your past. Um, it was created to push you and assist you with redirecting yourself toward a more peaceful, happier existence. All subscribers receive 25% off the five poetry book bundle and 15% off all products. Subscribe to the newsletter today by visiting suzysuttles.com or by copying the link in the description box below. A special shout out of love and thank you to all my YouTube subscribers, podcast subscribers, and podcast listener supporters. I thank you for your love, kindness, and generosity. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Because when you make a love, a monthly love offering in support of this podcast, it helps us sustain future episodes and also assist the mission of A Mother's Touch, Inc. You know, me doing this is, is never really about me. Do I want my bills paid? Absolutely. But I really do want to assist co-parents, families, you know, with love, nurturing, and guidance and the resources they need to become a healthier, happier, more holistic version of themselves. You know, when, when I'm a whole, a whole, whole and happy and healthier person, my daughter benefits from that. You know, I'm able to communicate with her better. I'm able to allow her to express herself, you know, and, and not tell her what to do. I want her to have her voice. I want her to use her voice and be confident in her voice, you know, and this is how we break the generational cycle of abuse, you know, by allowing, by being a guide to our children, you know, by being that, that love, that nurturing and that guidance that they need. They don't need to be told what to do. They need to be allowed to be themselves, you know. Um, and, and I also want to assist men and women who financially who are leaving domestic violence situations, you know, relationships and struggling, you know, in every area of their life because that's who I was, you know, and I just really want to be who I needed at that time. So um, if this is your first time listening to the podcast on Anchor, Apple, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Spotify, or YouTube, thank you. Thank you so very much for being here. Um, I'm happy that you that you listen to the Beyond Abuse podcast. I'm happy whether you are, you know, on YouTube or on a, a platform. Thank you. Because, you know, time is, time is a precious and valuable commodity. 
as something that you never get back. And um, I thank you guys for for being here and, and, and taking the time to listen, you know, because you didn't have to do that. And I want I encourage you to go back and listen to previous episodes. And if you like what you hear, then I invite you to subscribe to the podcast, you know, and if you subscribe on YouTube, go ahead and hit the bell for notifications because you'll be notified um, when I release new content. And then, you know, after you've listened to a couple of episodes, if you feel that you're getting some kind of value out of it, then I encourage you to become a listener supporter. You know, listener support is greatly appreciated and accepted. And and I thank y'all for that. You know, um, the little bit that I'm receiving right now, I'm so grateful for it. I haven't been able to cash out yet, but because you have to have $10 in there. Um, but I'm thankful and grateful, you know. Uh if you or someone you know is in need of financial assistance, please visit www.motherstouchinc.org and fill out the form for financial assistance. You can also make a love offering donation there, or you can do that via Cash App, um, which is dollar sign of Mother's Touch Inc., or Venmo, which is the at symbol at a Mother's Touch Inc. And I know so many people are probably like, well, how are you helping other people and you're struggling yourself financially? And it's like, because, like, no matter how much I struggle, I still help other people, you know, because I've been there. I've been there and I needed to help and it wasn't there. So, you know, I mean, no matter how much I'm struggling, I'm always going to give because giving changes me, you know, give it changes my heart no matter what I'm going through. So, uh, and I know it won't always be like this, you know, because it wasn't always like this and I was able to give, you know, $200 a month. I was able to support people $200 a month. You know what I'm saying? So I know it won't always be like this. And I'll be in that position where I can give more. You know? Where I'm not telling y'all that I'm struggling financially. You know? Because no matter how bad I struggle, I know that there's somebody else out there that could use that assistance. You know? So that's why I do it. Um... That's all I got for y'all today. I'm getting off of here and um, I'm just going to relax and continue crying, whatever it is that I got to do to get this stuff out. But I love y'all and I thank y'all for joining me today. But you know, before I let you go, I have to send a prayer of love out into the universe. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, dear universe. No matter what I'm going through, I still love you. I still trust you. And yes, I am going to tell you how I feel. Because you all I got. You're all that I have. And when I don't feel your support, I don't have anything. <laughs> but it changed my love for you. I'm releasing it, I'm letting it go. And I'm going to try and try and try and not do it, do it, do it. And it just seems like it's never.
so I read this and like I said I didn't give it to you I'm thankful and grateful because I still get the opportunity to work from home I don't have to go into an office or be forced to vaccinate or anything like that so I'm thankful and grateful for that I still get the opportunity to work from home and that um, I do not take care of me I really do but I just want you to know I'll give it all up again because I don't care I'll give it all up again because none of this stuff matters none of it I'll give it all I'll sell it all again go live in a hotel do whatever it is I have to do to get back on my feet again or I mean not even back on my feet but just to to get my finances in order and do whatever is necessary I will there's no shame in my game I ain't too good for that so I'm thankful and grateful but I know I can I can have and do and be what I desire. And I've been putting in the work. So, and I'm going to continue to put in the work. I'm going to continue to blast my podcast. I'm going to continue to blast my videos. I'm going to continue to, to um, do the books, the blaster books. You know, I'll continue working. Um, but I'm also eliminating a lot, a lot of things. Thankful and grateful for every single person that, that stopped by today to listen to this podcast. And I just pray that it blesses their soul too. And if they need to release and surrender something, that they do that. Thankful and grateful. And I ask that you would cover each and every one of them. Cover them with your love. Cover them with your light. Help them to recognize the light within their own selves. The power, the magic that they hold within themselves. Thankful and grateful for Archangel Michael's healing blue light, healing blue energy, and Archangel Raphael's healing green light and healing green energy. And I ask that that would that that would be wrapped around the hearts of every soul that's listening to this podcast today. And that this episode will bring some healing to their lives as well. In the same way it's bringing healing to mine. You know, because, yeah, I might teach this stuff, but healing is a journey. Self-love is a journey. It's every day. And every day you learn to love yourself a little more deeper. And every day you heal from the shit that's not serving you, that hasn't served you. And I'm thankful and grateful that I get to be that vessel. I'm thankful and grateful for this platform that I get to share my experiences with those who need it. It's a privilege and an honor to serve in this capacity. I love doing this. I don't take it for granted. It's a privilege and an honor to see another day. And with that being said, let's rock this day out. Let's get her done. And so be it. And so it is. Amen, amen, and amen. I want y'all to go out. Have an awesome, amazing, and beautiful day today. From my heart to yours, as always. Namaste. If you experienced rejection, abandonment, trauma, or abuse as a child, you may find it difficult to create a happy, healthy, and holistic life. You are not alone. I'm Coach Susie, and I'm a survivor of addiction and narcissistic domestic violence abuse. I was raised in an unhealthy and traumatic environment and experienced every type of abuse before the age of 10. As I grew older, I attracted these same type of relationships into my life 
because it was all I knew and the only type of relationship I was accustomed to until I learned something different. In 2015, I left a 20 year unhealthy and abusive relationship and learned to love myself unconditionally beyond the familial and relational abuse of my past. I've spent the past six years on a journey of loving myself unconditionally beyond the mindset of the victim and growing into the empowered victor. The voices of doubt, fear, and not good enough would constantly haunt me until I learned to change my mindset. The living and empowered life free mental health support community was created to lovingly guide you through letting go of the unhealthy, unhealthy mentally, mentality. If you experience rejection, abandonment, trauma, or abuse as a child, you may find it difficult to create a happy, healthy, and holistic life. You are not alone. I'm Coach Susie, and I'm a survivor of addiction and narcissistic domestic violence abuse. I was raised in an unhealthy and traumatic environment and experienced every type of abuse before the age of 10. As I grew older, I attracted these same type of relationships into my life because it was all I knew and the only type of relationship I was accustomed to until I learned something different. In 2015, I left a 20 year unhealthy and abusive relationship and learned to love myself unconditionally beyond the familial and relational abuse of my past. I've spent the past six years on a journey of loving myself unconditionally beyond the mindset of the victim and growing into the empowered victor. The voices of doubt, fear, and not good enough would constantly haunt me until I learned to change my mindset. The living and empowered life free mental health support community was created to lovingly guide you through letting go of the unhealthy mentality of the victim and empower you to live a life beyond the abuse and depression of your past. There are more programs, services, and resources available to women than men. So I created this community specifically for men. Our culture does not allow men to express all their innate emotions and feelings, and they often feel unsafe to express them openly. I desire for all men to experience a happy, healthy, and holistic life and learn practical and effective ways to love themselves unconditionally beyond the abuse and depression of their past. Eventually, growing out of the unhealthy mindset of the victim into the healthy mindset of the victor. If you are ready to become the healthiest and happiest and truest version of yourself, I invite you to join this free mental health support community today. You can do that by visiting suzysuttles.com or copying the link in the description box below.